meet Mr. C. Hi. Mr. C is 77 years old, male, and a dog lover. At the primary care physician's office, they found that Mr. C was diagnosed with osteoarthritis of the lumbar spine and the left hip. He has possible trochanteric bursitis and x-rays revealed positive for osteopenia, moderate degenerative changes. However, he didn't have any fractures. It's day one at the PT clinic. Mr. C is going to have his initial eval. Mr. C reports that one month ago, while him and his wife were moving furniture, he got low back pain that started to spread to his lateral thigh. A few days passed and his low back pain got better, but his hip pain got worse. He reports that his pain increases with standing, walking, lying on his left, and at nighttime when he's sleeping. Although he admits the pain at night might be because he's not distracted as much. He rates his pain as a 3 at its best and a 9 maximum. At home, the treatments he's been using is hydrocodone and heating pad. But this only brings the pain to a dull ache. In review of Mr. C's past medical history, the PT found that he has chronic low back pain and OA of his hip. Uh, he has episodes of dyspnea or shortness of breath. He has long-term anticoagulant use. A smoker for 50 years, which he quit seven years ago. Venous insufficiency. BPPV and a history of cancer, and his dad, his two brothers, a child, but not himself. He had no other neural tests or special tests done due to his pain severity and guarding of his left lower extremity. Let's pause for a moment and talk about some red flags. Once the PT noticed some of the red flags, he decided to tell Mr. C, we're going to have to put treatment on hold up until you see your primary care physician who referred you to me. Following, the physical therapist called Mr. C's primary care physician and he told him that he was concerned and I suggest further imaging using an MRI or a CT scan. Mr. PCP responds, nine. More x-rays instead, which were consistent with the original images. I'm shaking my head. And Mr. PCP referred Mr. C to counseling for depression. We're back in the PT clinic. It's 10 days post the initial PT eval and three days post the follow-up with his primary care physician. Mr. C complains to the PT, I have 10 out of 10 pain. And his wife adds that her husband, Mr. C, has seemed really confused, irritated, and agitated, has a decreased appetite, and a decreased functional status. Mr. PT says, go to the emergency department stat. In addition to all the other stuff that Mr. C told the physical therapist, when he gets to the emergency department, he tells them, 
I've had nausea and vomiting. The emergency department says, discharge him with degenerative joint disease of the hip and spine. That was after some imaging was done. Two weeks later, at a routine follow-up with his primary care physician for his history of DVTs, or deep vein thromboses, Mr. C's PCP found an abnormally high INR, or international normalized ratio, indicating that his blood was taking longer than expected to clot. In addition, Mr. C's wife also stated that he had become more irritable and more confused. The physician then admitted Mr. C to the hospital in order to expedite diagnostic testing. Bouts of imaging led to a primary diagnosis of lung adenocarcinoma with widespread metastases in his lungs, liver, brain, lumbar and thoracic spine, and his left proximal femur.